Lego Man, do you know what these are? These are the plans that our friends have sent in to the messy floor problem. You know, part of engineering is teamwork, and our friends are definitely part of this team. We have plans for Maddie, and Michaela, and Milan, Davina, Ariana, Owen, Lysander, Hunter, Olivia, Leslie, August. The list goes on and on. You know, making a plan is our first step of getting our ideas into a way that we can show them to somebody else. But today, oh, today is probably my favorite step in the engineering design process. Put your safety goggles on, because today we create. Today is the day when we take our ideas and turn them into something that we can hold in our hands. The creation process is nothing short of amazing. Today, we are learning to create by following a plan. And what I'm looking for from you today is a little bit different. I'm looking for you to explain how that might be a challenge. Some of you will be creating, and some of you may not have the materials in your home to create. That's okay. For those of you that aren't able to create this week, I want you to really imagine the steps of creating your solution and think about what parts might be hard. So let's recap our steps so far. The first thing we did is we researched the problem and asked great questions. Next, we brainstormed and imagined lots of different solutions to this problem. Then. We took our favorite solution and made a plan for it. Our plans not only listed our solution, but it also mentioned what materials we would need and what it would look like. Today, we are going to use the plan we chose to make that solution in real life. I will be practicing with the plan that I made, but you will use the plan that you created. And if you don't have the materials to do this, don't worry, I've got you covered. Let's talk about the steps that we're going to do today. So go ahead and grab the plan that you've already made. Step one, let's look at the plan and see if there's a description. That will give us an idea of what we're building. Step two, collect the materials that you need. This should be listed on your plan. And step three, put together the parts in a way that matches the picture on the plan. That's all there is to it. Oh, hey Lego man. Would you like to try to create the solution we planned last time? Definitely. Let's try it out. Um, my solution, make a box out of Legos. Okay. Uh, materials, Legos. Let's see. Oh yeah, mess is still there. <laughs> uh, it will look like. Okay, I'm gonna make a box on the bottom, open on the inside. All right, I think I'm ready to do this. Okay. Great job. And uh, now we can put some of the Legos in the box. If you have the materials at your home to create a solution and you're feeling up for it, by all means, I would love to see what you create. Make sure you take some pictures during the process and share them with me in our Google Classroom. And if you don't have the materials at home, that's okay too but I want you to mentally go through the process. If you have to cut cardboard, I want you to think about the cardboard and cut through it. If you are taping, I want you to rip off each piece of tape and really try to build the object in your mind. And I want you to think about what part of that process might be hard to do because creation can be challenging. When you get back to your engineering Google Classroom, there will be details of exactly what you should submit. As always, I look forward to seeing your creations. Put on your safety glasses. What? Put on your safety glasses. That doesn't even make sense. Put on your safety glasses. What? Are... 
Put on your safety glasses. I, I give up. <laughs>